Hi everybody, I'm Liz Pemberton and this is my GemCon 2020 display for you. Um, I decided that I'm going to feature a couple of my favorite dolls. You can see a big chunk of all of my dolls back there um, and there are way too many of them to show you each one of them individually so just a couple special ones. So we'll start with this guy. This is someone known as Craig Ferguson, although I do not believe in any way that he was meant to be a Craig or a Rio, and I can go into that in great detail in person when next we meet. He is a Rob head with blue eyebrows and very poorly rooted purple hair. You can see really badly done. And he is on a female gem body. You can see he's wearing first Kimber pants. He came in a first Aja top, but I gave him new kids on the block sweater because 80s and he has also some michael jackson socks and some custom shoes made by rachel prince so he is my alleged craig ferguson although i do not believe he was intended to be a craig or a rio so there he is speaking of rio this is one of my favorite rios we're a little overexposed here because i don't have a professional studio but he's just, he's very handsome. Look at him. There he is. He's got that little bit of hair coming down over his forehead. He's just very handsome. And he has on Truly Outrageous, the fashion that it took me the longest to get of all the Rio fashions. So here's a little shout out to Michael Sheehan, who voiced Rio in, in honor of Michael. Here is my favorite Rio. So one of my favorite Shana's is this one and you're like what's she wearing she's not anybody i know she's she's just shana wearing a little mod dress that i found on ebay she has awesome hair she has that little curl that comes down like that and the rest of her hair is piled up on top of her like a thundercloud and i just think she's awesome she has little blue knockoff shoes so speaking of knockoffs i collect knockoffs this is what's called a jewel fashion the company that made it was Totsi, and the brand is jewel and you can see that it has red shoes those red shoes are extremely rare i spent a whole lot of money on a fashion that i had thought had red shoes on it that didn't have red shoes and this one actually was so, uh, somewhat reasonable for a knockoff but at any rate so if you're looking for the red shoes and you want to know what that outfit looks like it looks like this it's kind of a silver and red skirt and a red one shoulder blouse and she it comes with it might come with the walkman or it might come with a guitar or something else or no accessory at all because that's the way that tatsi does things and this jetta has a haircut so my favorite knockoff fashion probably maybe today is this one also made by the tatsi company it is a green lame mini dress with black fringe and an armlet an awesome uh, kind of fancy looking tights and green shoes and she's on a loose loose Roxy so it's a good thing we're a little overexposed because she's a little overexposed too. One of my other knockoffs this is from a company called LA Gear they made shoes and workout gear and I think they still do and she's wearing one of the it's called the flash fashions it used to have little light bulbs in these weird little holes but this one doesn't and it says let him buy his own LA gear wear so speaking of random things just random pretty things that I like here's a rock and curl with some rather lovely hair I think in a very awesome gold and black dress that I'm sure was made for Barbie I don't know who made it the gloves were too small so I took them off and sewed them back on on the size she needed them to be and she's just I just really love this dress I also really love this dress this dress with its huge mint colored lame skirt that is scalloped and fancy and it has giant sleeves that were so giant I had to put cotton balls in them to make them puff up and Stormer has matching green glitter pumps well scallop pumps but I believe were made by Shivana but they're neat and they're cool and she also has let's see if I can get a good view of it there this kind of 
glass owl necklace that is sort of iridescent and I got it on eBay and I love it. So I'd love her and she also has nifty little curls and kind of a messy piled up hair and I just really she's very lovely and I love her. So you may have actually heard that there are fashions made for the gem dolls that they can wear. Oh, I know, I know. So here's my designing woman pizzazz and the thing that is special about her is of course her hair. Sometimes kids take the scissors and they cut off the top of her bangs because she has bangs here and bangs that stick up. They cut off the stick up bangs and she has a weird bald spot. So I took this one and made a ponytail and then curled her hair into big old curls and big old sloppy curls and she has nice updo and I'm very fond of her. So there's my one of my favorite pizzazzes. And my favorite gem fashion again today is we're off and running here in the lovely overexposed video. Let's get her up there. She is just a very pretty stormer and her hair was kind of kind of crunched down. So I said, hey, let's put it on the fashion that needs her hair to be out of the way. Because who would not want an orange leopard jacket with a big purple lame thing? I would totally wear this if I weren't too lazy to make it. So getting back to GemCon, uh, one of the things that we have done for GemCon over the years is make t-shirts for the dolls. And this is the 2016 one. And it says, I, Gemstar New York. If you haven't seen the I Heart New York thing, where have you been? But uh, it's a famous tourism motto. And she is dressed up sort of like uh, the, well, like Madonna in Desperately Seeking Susan. And here comes a cat. This is Panda. He is very exciting. I will move him just a second. Hi, sweetie. You're messing up the video. Mm. Sorry, baby. It's the perils of living with a cat. Anyway, she's all dressed up in stuff and she has some Barbie heart shaped glasses and a big old hair bow and boots. And it's, oh, she's just awesome. She's my favorite Gem Con t-shirt that I dressed. So, you know, she had a, an advantage there in being my favorite since I was in charge of her. Um, so this, this is a GemCon fashion as opposed to the t-shirt. This is the 2008 GemCon fashion from when we were in Los Angeles. It's gorgeous. I love it. And it has, it has the first shoes that were produced for a GemCon fashion and they are sparkly yellow glitter and you totally can't see, but you can kind of see sparkly yellow glitter. This is my favorite pizzazz doll. I think she just looks happy and contented and she has lovely hair and she kind of if there was if there was a a pizzazz doll that expressed the feelings that I got from Patricia Ellis Albrecht it's this one because she just seems at peace and happy and that's what Patricia was like so love you Patricia and uh, here's my favorite pizzazz doll and uh, if we're gonna go with oh there's a cat again is he going to come on camera? Maybe he is. It would be the great internet hit if he did. Um, this is the 2007 GemCon fashion. See the nifty stockings and her little gangstery kind of dress. I think it's, I think it's kind of in the style of, of Chicago in the 20s. And she has a little flower in her hair. And this is probably my favorite Stormer just because she's very pretty also. So the 2007 fashion, my favorite GemCon fashion. Then, this is a little bit of a story, and I'll try not to take too long. So you can see it says GemCon 2005 on the back of her jacket. Rachel Prinz, who lives in Australia and is also known as Gem Girl, uh, was our fashion coordinator for 2005, which I held in Minneapolis. And at the end of the convention, she sent me and a couple of the other staffers our very own personalized GemCon satin jackets. And she made some in, in years after that with decals, but this year she just kind of painted GemCon 2005 on. And so that is a personalized souvenir from her that I love. And she also made me some custom shoes. And you will say, what's so exciting about them? And I will say, but wait, there's matching earrings. What's so exciting about them? They glow in the dark. And I tried to get a glow in the dark effect that would show up on video and it won't. So just 
imagine that these are glowing in the dark and that her earrings are glowing in the dark and it'll be awesome. So last but not least, this is a nice gem Jerrica doll and she is wearing another pretty gown. And this is a custom that my best friend, college roommate, and, you know, current, you know, family of, of choice, uh, Kathy Filling, made for me. And this dress was what I wore as my junior prom dress. Didn't go to prom, but we wore our dresses to sing the, the spring choir concert. So this was my junior prom choir concert dress. Let's see if I can get you up there for some details. And she really did a fantastic job, and it is lovely. It is a very pale lavender. And um, so that is my friend made a dress that was mine. And so so there you go. So this has been this has been my display stuff. It's a little weird. It's a little odd. But um, these are dolls that I love that won't necessarily ever, you know, be displayed somewhere else. There's a few of them that will, that have been. But anyway, that's my display stuff. So um, have a great time at GemCon, and I hope to see you in Minneapolis and beyond in future years. Thanks. Bye.